Hey guys, welcome behind the scenes at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay, where construction is underway on one of the most unique and thrilling new roller coasters in the world, Cobra's Curse. No one has ever built a ride quite like this. It's a completely original design, jam-packed with so many unique features that have never been put together before. It's a wild ride that will make your head spin. Here's why you should be excited. The first big thrill on Cobra's Curse is the vertical lift. It acts much like an outdoor elevator, lifting riders nearly 70 feet into the air where they get panoramic views of our Serengeti Plain, Egypt, and neighboring Montu. It works by taking two trains that counterbalance each other as we lift guests up into the sky. Once they reach the top, they'll be faced with a knuckle-gripping encounter with an outward bank turn. The 2100 feet of ride track winds its way through two and a half acres of Egypt. If you remember where King Tut's tomb used to be, then you know exactly where we are. We're converting that structure into the queue house for Cobra's Curse. Plus, this ride has a very short height restriction at only 42 inches, which means that almost the entire family can ride together. This is the loading zone. It utilizes a constantly moving platform to be able to load guests onto the trains. It's a very efficient way to load our guests, which means lower wait times for you. Each train is comprised of two cars coupled together, and each car has four seats. We can have up to eight trains on the track at any given time. Let's take a closer look at one of these cars because there's a design surprise you're going to want to see. Remember when I told you the ride design would make your head spin? Well, that's a promise because Cobra's Curse is a spinning roller coaster. And to make things even more exciting, the spinning motion changes throughout the ride. For a third of the ride, you'll be running forwards, a third of the ride, you'll be going backwards, and you'll have a free spin finale to the end. So let's talk about the types of forces guests will experience while riding Cobra's Curse. Mark, what can you tell us? Well, Jeff, Cobra's Curse was designed to give a completely unique ride experience to our guests. The motion of the ride was inspired by the S shape that a snake makes as it propels itself forward. We're gonna use the same S-curve to propel riders into a free spin. And every time you ride, it's gonna spin differently depending on how the weight's distributed. So how does that work? Well, if all the weight's kinda even, as it goes through the S-curve, it'll spin pretty evenly. But you put a linebacker and a cheerleader on board, it's gonna be a pretty wild ride. The very best part of this ride is when you go face to fang to the 80-foot snake icon that we uncovered on the dig site. Have you seen it yet? We should go take a look. Wow, there it is. Pretty impressive, don't you think? The story goes that villagers used to worship this icon as some sort of a snake king, and they even built a temple to his honor. But eventually, the icon fell down, the villagers moved on, and it was buried in the sand for thousands of years, until we came to uncover it and restore it to its former glory. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next update on Cobra's Curse, where we'll take a closer look at the queue line and tell you more about the story behind the ride.